Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we're down at the tiger habitat with the two Amur tigers that live here at the Calgary Zoo. Sarma is eight years old and she moved here from New Brunswick and Yuri is six and he came here from Quebec. I said earlier these are Amur tigers. Most people know them by their more familiar name, Siberian tiger. Once upon a time, these tigers roamed all over Asia, including being concentrated in Siberia, which is where they got their name. Unfortunately, their habitat has changed, and so they now only live in the Amur region of Russia, which is much smaller. So their name has changed as well. Yuri and Sarma are ambassadors for their kind. And while they're here with us in our care at the Calgary Zoo, it's really important that they get the absolute best in animal welfare, uh, taking care of their physical and mental well-being, as well as participating in something called the Species Survival Plan. Earlier today, you've seen tiger training with our zookeeper, Kayla. And that's an important part of the daily veterinary and husbandry care that goes into looking after these magnificent cats. So today we're gonna to dive a little bit deeper into that species survival plan. What is an SSP? It is an agreement between accredited zoos and aquariums from around the world to work together to do what's best for a species survival. It's kind of like zoo online dating, but instead of looking for long walks on the beach and enjoying the same types of beverages, it's looking at their genetics. Every animal that's part of an SSP has a family tree and with their parents, their grandparents, and their whole lineage. And what we're trying to do is make sure that animals that are breeding as part of SSP recommendations are not related to each other. We don't just put tigers together and hope for babies. Tigers are solitary most of the time, except when they might come together during their breeding seasons. A lot of us wonder, why would an animal choose to be solitary? But there are more than you might think. Uh, giant pandas, rhinoceros, most big cats other than lions lead a solitary lifestyle and they patrol large areas of territory. When you visit Yuri and Sarma here at the Calgary Zoo, you'll often see them patrolling, which means doing a sort of round of their habitat, marking their territory as they go. Now we do a tire introduction really, really slowly. First, they just get to see each other at a distance. Over time, what we started to do was something called mesh to mesh, which means giving the tigers access to be able to rub up against the fence, to smell each other and interact, but with a barrier there. And then as time progresses, there will become times where we can have the tigers together uh, and hopefully in the future have tiger cubs here at the Calgary Zoo. Amur tigers play a critical role in their ecosystem. They're what we call an umbrella species. What that means is that they live in such a large area that when we take action to protect them in the wild, we also protect all kinds of other small mammals, reptiles, amphibians, plants, sometimes which are harder for us to think about when they're so small. But Amur tigers are something that everybody knows and loves. And we all want to make sure that they continue to have a uh, presence here on our planet. Oh, hello. Hi, Yuri. This is Yuri, our six-year-old male. He came up to see what's happening. You can see he's on his patrol there. So what can we all do here in our homes in Canada that protects tigers? Tigers live in forest habitat and we all use forest paper products in our daily lives here in Canada and around the world. So one of the things we can do is look for the FSC or Forest Stewardship Council logo when we're shopping for paper products or lumber. And that makes sure that it's coming from a sustainable forest, which will help protect forests here in Canada and around the world. Also, just by being a member or a visitor to the Calgary Zoo, you help us do all of these kinds of conservation programs. And we wouldn't be able to participate in SSPs for endangered species like Amur tigers without you. So thank you for supporting wildlife conservation. And uh, today at home on your daily dose, we're asking you to take on your, put on your training hat and learn how to be a tiger trainer. You can use a stuffy or with your parents' permission, your pet, and uh, check out our PDF on some cool ways to start training your animals at home. Thanks for watching Daily Dose, and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation. <laughs>